When you're looking for insightful, high-quality commentary, there's nowhere better to look than the YouTube comments section. And perhaps the most notorious commenter of all is Justin Y. You'll see him in thousands of videos all over YouTube. He commented so frequently and so quickly that there was a lot of speculation that he was actually a bot. But looking a little deeper, the comments aren't random or spammy, they're actually related to the video. And it turns out he's just a regular guy. But that got me thinking, could a bot like that actually exist? So I made one. In fact, I've tricked you. Every single comment I've shown so far in this video is fake and was generated by my AI. Okay, so let me explain a little bit about how this works. Obviously, I don't want to just generate random comments, I want something that's actually related to the video. But downloading and analyzing videos frame by frame is extremely time consuming. Instead, I can use metadata. To make things simple, I'm using only the title of the video to generate the comments. You might think that's not enough context, and you're probably right, but it worked well enough that I didn't even bother with anything else. So I can type in any title to a video that doesn't exist and see what the top comments might look like. So for example, let's say I do something like uh, Thanos and Shrek are the same character. Never heard the entire movie. Thank you for making this video, but I didn't even know that Shrek had me. <laughs> like that, I don't even know what the movie sounds like. Shrek 5 leak trailer. Once Thanos snapped half the universe. So let's try something else now. Uh, how about a tutorial? Um, how to put a baby to sleep using memes. Anyone else tried to get some milk? <laughs> how to basic, I eat pan. <laughs> 7.50. Would always be my favorite rose. That will be called pooping classes in 1999. <laughs> Millions of years of sleep in the past store. Okay, let's try some kind of music video. Well, literally the worst rap official music video. Roast. I will never be able to compete with this. Even though I actually thought this was funny. We literally just made a video about the beginning. We'll start a year old, best thing ever. I like the part where he says he is a rapper and Eminem just afraid to diss. All right, we gotta do something else. So you all saw that new Sonic trailer, right? How about Sonic the Hedgehog uh, eats a potato. They were scared to let us go to the Sonic movie. <laughs> What is this? Kill me, I eat your chips. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be an actual ROM hack. Yes, the Sonic Boom Sega video is very powerful. <laughs> These are so good. Okay, how about something more uh, YouTube-y? Let's say uh, Jake Paul visits North Korea. Oh my god, I just realized how much I thought this was a joke, but I just realized how much of humanity is. <laughs> oh. When I used to eat my kid. Unlike two people who am offended by their subs. Laughing my ass off. Me watching this video. Kim Jong-un versus Jake. I will never die. All right, let's try another one. How about uh, game theory? Uh... Mario is actually a uh, lizard person. I have no idea what this is going to be in the world. At the end, the theory is a joke. I think he is the person who made this. <laughs> is this guy gonna be a furry? Kung Fu fighting Mario movies. <laughs> All right, let's do one very meta and very controversial. My AI is better than Justin Y. He's a bird. He plays AI. By asking, but AI is more than ninja. Lol, AI-chan is secretly a legend. 
better than Justin Y. He agrees with me. AI Chan is the best, but he's the best. Nice. Very nice. And in case you're wondering, yes, like most of my other projects, you can download the app and try it yourself. Or download the source code if you want to train your own generator. You're also probably wondering, could I actually release this bot into the wild? I was looking through the YouTube Terms of Service, and it looks like theoretically I could. Seems like as long as it doesn't post more than a human reasonably could, and it doesn't solicit a business or act maliciously, it might actually be okay. But I'm not a lawyer, and I just don't want to risk that and get my channel banned. Alright, so let's talk about how it works now. To make any kind of AI, I need data. A lot of data. Luckily, YouTube has an API to download titles and comments, but unfortunately it only allows 10,000 queries per day, which means it took me a couple of weeks before I had enough data for training. The other problem is, there's billions of videos on YouTube. How do I even choose the videos? The best way I found to get tons of videos was playlists. A lot of big YouTubers keep their liked videos public, and they like a lot of videos. YouTube caps them at 5,000, but with enough of these playlists, I can get a pretty sizable collection. The caveat is that there's going to be a heavy bias to memes and video games, but let's be honest, that's most of YouTube anyway. After collecting all the data, it's time for the most important part. No, not training the neural network, data cleaning. Yeah, I haven't talked about this much, even though it's usually the most time-consuming part of my AI projects. Unless you're using some kind of academic set, most data from the real world is not clean, meaning good representative data in the right format for training. And it's very rare you can fix it manually. So that time is usually spent writing scripts to do it for you. Let me give an example. Let's say you have an image data set. Those images might come in different file formats, different resolutions, different aspect ratios, different color spaces. All those things have to be normalized to make a uniform data set. Then there's quality control because you want to reject undesirable data. Images might be too tiny, too compressed, too dark, too light, too similar to other images in your set, or just a completely unrelated picture. Figuring out all these criteria, actually coding it up, and even just running the script can take a huge amount of time. I hope you get the point, but YouTube comments and titles have this issue as well. Some of the things I did include only choosing comments that got a lot of upvotes, choosing comments that weren't too long or too short, converting some non-English characters to English ones, etc. You can just pause if you want to see the rest. Just like my movie idea generator, I'm using word embeddings to predict the next word. But this time, I can't just rely on the previous words to predict the next word. I also need to take the context of the title into account. I wanted something simple and fast to train, so I'm using something called a bag of words. Basically, I create a really huge vector with one slot for every possible word in my dataset. If the word appears in the title, I set it to 1 and if it doesn't appear, I set it to zero. That's my title context vector, and I feed it into the network alongside the word embedding. Another tiny difference with the movie generator is that instead of using an LSTM, I'm using a GRU, or gated recurrent unit. It's extremely similar and seems to work just as well, but it's a little faster to train, so that helps. Lastly, the network can't be deterministic. I need to generate lots of different comments. To do that, the output of the network is another huge vector with every word, where each word has a probability of how likely it is to come next in the sentence. So just like the movie generator, I randomly sample that exact distribution each time to choose the next word. So that's the architecture at a high level. If you want more of the nitty gritty stuff, you can always just check out the source code. The last thing I want to talk about is a little bit darker, the malicious use cases. People pay money to get views, likes, and of course comments, especially ones that get real engagement. And it's not hard to see how technology like this could be abused. Obviously this project was just done for memes and laughs, but it shows why it's so important for platforms like YouTube or Facebook to always be ahead of the battle against abuse, perhaps training their own neural networks to identify malicious accounts. So sorry for ending on that bittersweet note, but I really hope you enjoy the generator and have a good laugh. Thanks for watching!